Tonight, Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller made his sixth State of the City address to the community at the Albuquerque Biopark Zoo. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch was at today's event. She has more about what the mayor highlighted. The mayor touched on different topics from public safety, housing, and potential solutions for homelessness. Our challenges are formidable, especially when it comes to crime and when it comes to homelessness. This year's State of the City Address theme was a future worth fighting for, highlighting different initiatives and programs around the Duke City. The mayor focused on crime and safety, mentioning different strategies to fight crime in the city that are working, saying homicides are down. Then we added technology like shot detection and license plate readers and gun databases. Since 2014, the Albuquerque Police Department has been under the watch of the U.S. Department of Justice as part of a settlement agreement to reform the department. The mayor also taking the time to highlight the fact APD is now in compliance. But it's just the beginning of APD's resurgence. We will never back down when it comes to building trust in the community. The mayor also said the Albuquerque Community Safety Department, which sends social workers and trained professionals to 911 calls for mental health, has taken 80,000 calls helping those in need and freeing up law enforcement. Another focus of the address was housing, breaking down how and where the city has added housing in the metro. We added 2,200 new affordable units since 2018, and we're building 400 new apartment units in Uptown that are connected to transit. And we just announced 300 new housing units in the International District. The mayor also said the Gateway Center will soon be seeing changes. If funding comes through, the city hopes to create multiple Gateway Centers to help homeless youth and homeless fighting addiction. Those attending tonight were able to meet representatives from city departments and learn more about community resources and how the mayor's plans could impact their future. We want to see what the plans are that we, because we're going to be, uh, my fiance and I are going to be a business owners here pretty soon, and we want to know what, what entail, what's that going to entail for us. The mayor also highlighted another solar manufacturer coming to Albuquerque, saying this will be good for jobs and renewable energy. Back to you. All right, thanks, Marilyn. There were over 3,000 people in attendance, according to the mayor, including some protesters who interrupted the speech multiple times.